All righty, guys, we're going to start here in a few minutes. I see you guys watching on YouTube. Comment down below if you're watching this live or the replay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let us know if you are watching this live or the replay. We're going to start here in about 30 seconds. Alrighty, alrighty. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the circle episode number uh, two. I'm excited. I'm going to be your host. My name is Mike Sotero. Feel free to share this link out. Uh, this is actually our second episode. We are now streaming uh, on YouTube in the YouTube chat. Let us know if you're watching this live. Uh, we're going to be talking about Super Bowl commercial Kanye West. We're going to be talking about Bitcoin breaking 50,000. We're going to be talking about what is happening uh, with this recession in the United Kingdom that is they are now officially in as of today. We may talk a little bit of crypto. We're also going to talk a little bit about what is going to really take place uh, over the next 10 months, uh, really from an economic standpoint. So let us know if you're watching live or in the chat. Uh, this is something I decided I was going to uh, create to launch. We also have a special guest in the waiting room going to be joining us here in a couple minutes. So send out this YouTube link. Oh, no, we don't want to put the music back on. And it is, we're going to get this thing started. Now, two quick things here. You know, somebody asked me a couple of days ago, they said, well, Mike, why are you starting a YouTube show? Well, I said, number one, YouTube is something personally, I'm doing this to be a little bit selfish, to hold myself accountable to do more YouTube videos. That's a little bit of the truth. And the second thing is the reason that we're calling it The Circle, I see Deja's live, Marissa's live. The reason that we're calling it the circle is because every company, every business, every organization starts off with one person making a decision that says, hey, I'm going to start this company. I have this idea and now we're going to manifest this idea and we're going to bring this thing to life. So uh, if you know somebody that is in business, an entrepreneur, somebody that just wants to take control, invite them on here. And the whole reason of me doing this is how can I... Or how can we, right? Because you're going to hear from some guests as we kick off these episodes every Thursday, 5 p.m. Eastern on this channel. How can we add more value to you? We're going to be talking about all different sorts of topics. Uh, the first talk a bit topic, we're going to talk about Kanye West and his Super Bowl commercial. I mean, how many did anybody see this commercial air live? I'm actually going to play this for you real quick. If you don't know, if you don't know Kanye. That's a whole other conversation for another day. But listen to his commercial. He shot his $7 million Super Bowl commercial off of his iPhone. Jessica watching live from Tampa. Glad you are here. Let's, let's watch this real quick. But the idea is, I want you to go to Yeezy.com, Y-E-E-Z-Y.com, and I'm going to write it at the bottom of the screen, and I got some shoes, and hey. um, that's it. Did anybody see that commercial air live? And I believe, right, that is going to be starting the trend of influencers and companies shooting more organic content for next year's Super Bowl. If you don't know, a Super Bowl commercial costs about like seven to ten million dollars uh, based on kind of where it's placed in the in the budget. And Kanye paid seven million. And the next morning I saw a picture was released. Kanye's commercial created 19 million dollars of revenue for ease on easy.com. So anybody in the chat box, do you think that was a good investment? Now, I personally didn't see the commercial air live, but uh, some people did. So that's pretty crazy. 
Also, another topic that we are going to talk about here today is well, Bitcoin back over a trillion dollar uh, market cap. It has now entered the top 10 in uh in assets in the world we have gold at number one microsoft two apple right we just saw the apple uh you know the headsets now i just saw a video where you can basically download this app and you can uh, and, and if you're just getting on here for the first time let us know in the chat you can basically download this app and you can set how you want the planets to look like based on a specific time in history so i think apple I think Apple stock is going to have a crazy run over the next decade. Um, you got Saudi, you got NVIDIA, which is one of the only assets that has outperformed Bitcoin. And then Amazon today reports of Jeff Bezos selling $4 billion of shares uh, with his own company. Now that is common. And when you look up how many shares Jeff actually has, $4 billion is nothing, Okay. It's nothing. So people should not be stressing out about that. And then really the talk around town is Bitcoin's back above 50,000. Let me know in the chat if you're watching this live or if you're watching a recording. So if you're watching live, put live in the chat. If you're watching recording, put recording in the chat. And second thing I want to ask you is how many people do you know that uh, faded or have talked bad about crypto over the past year two years three years i mean one two years ago everybody turned their back seven years ago governments and countries turned their back when i got involved so pretty crazy to see bitcoin back at a trillion i think there's no reason why all of crypto doesn't have five to ten trillion dollars in this market cap over the next couple of years so uh, excited. Now, the last two things, then we're going to bring a special guest up here, have a little conversation. Uh, today, the United Kingdom officially on paper, right, they announced it. They are in a recession. Okay. What What do you think is going to happen now to different currencies like the Great British Pound? Like, you know, that, that could definitely affect the euro as well. UK is now officially in a recession. I believe America has been in a recession. I believe we are just kind of navigating through it. Uh, but we are in a time where interest rates have been said they were going to be cut, and now they're looking at pausing. Uh, we are in a time right now where the dollar, you know, is on the verge, I believe, of re retracing to the downside and then continuing. So a lot of things in the trading and investing space. Uh, and then last thing I want to share with you is regarding AI. Okay, uh, what is what is his name? Sam Altman, the creator of Open AI. He is trying to raise $7 trillion, okay? This is the, the largest, this would be the largest amount of money, of money ever raised if he does it. And it is for OpenAI, which they're releasing a new feature called Sora. Take a look at this. Our text to video model. Sora can create videos up to 60 seconds featuring high detailed scenes, camera motion, and here's the prompt. And what prompt means is what you would type into ChatGBT or OpenAI to create an image. Well, they just took it a step further. This was the prompt they put into OpenAI. Sora is not officially out yet. And look at what was generated. In the chat, let me know if this is scary or if this is the future. Let me know in the chat. Beautiful, snowy Tokyo city in bustling. The camera moves through the bustling city street. I don't even know what bustling means. Following several people enjoying the beautiful snowy. I mean, this is crazy to where technology is going. And we're going to bring up our guest here. And that's actually the first question that I'm going to ask him is what are his, his thoughts? Let's bring him on the panel here. What are his thoughts with AI and what is taking place? I think this is going to shape the content game. So AJ, welcome to the circle, my brother. Uh, I was actually on his show earlier today uh, on Twitter. Uh, AJ used to work at Tesla. He's been all around the world, speaks at a lot of events from crypto uh, to entrepreneurship events. Uh, he's being mentored by some incredible people in the space. Uh, AJ, can you hear me? I see you, but I don't see your microphone connected yet. 
Uh, no, can't hear you yet. Bottom left. Uh, guys, put some ones in the chat. If you're watching the, re the replay, let us know. And uh, I think you're going to be good to go. Welcome to the show, AJ. Oh, we got to unmute you now. Uh, hold on, you're muted still. Hit a unmute, bottom left. Perfect. Boom. What's up, bro? Oh, How we doing? You, man. Sorry about that. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, it's the first time I saw that video, Mike. I, I heard about it, but I that video looks amazing. And I think this is what's going to happen, what's going to continue to happen. And um, I actually kind of like it. Obviously, there's some there's a scary side to it to where there's deep fakes and like yeah, you know, people need to be um uh careful, of course, with their identity and everything and to do whatever they can. But I mean, we're going here, you know, between digital finance, I mean, excuse me, de decentralized finance and decentralized media. Um, but I know this uh, production guy, the guy that uh, he's a, a film producer, and he's actually going to add AI into his studios. So he's going to start creating wow. AI movies. We should be, we should bring him on sometime. His name is Hazem. Uh, yeah. Amazing dude. And uh, we're, we're going here, whether we like it or not, that's kind of how I feel. And I just, uh, we have to be uh, 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 vigilant and smart and uh, do what we need to do to protect ourselves yeah. so we don't get fooled. Facts. Put a put a one in the chat if you want AJ to bring on that guest because I, I think AI is going to replace people. But I think AI, yeah. the people that know how to use AI are going to obviously replace jobs. But I think that's where like there's going to be the, the best production and the best use case for it. But like small, tedious tasks, all those people are gone. Um with different things in AI. Did you see Sam Altman's trying to raise seven trillion dollars, bro? Yeah, I think he asked at the right place. I think he was at the uh video call in uh UAE Dubai one. He was right, yeah. Yeah. And uh man, people are all over this thing. I, I don't know how, how do you raise seven trillion dollars? I mean, only Saudi has that type of money, right? But <sighs> that's you know, a lot of money. <laughs> I think he'll get like a trillion, but even even knowing that somebody's getting a trillion dollars, is there pressure? I mean, they have a product that's could change the world forever. So, right? How do you, you price that? Um, that's crazy, man. But now, welcome to the show. This is Thank our you. second episode. Just you know, having some fun on YouTube. We got some people here streaming on the YouTube chat as well. Uh, if you guys have some questions for AJ feel, or or for me, drop it in the YouTube chat. Uh, but anything you want to navigate to it, bro, towards bro. Uh, floor is yours. Any questions, anything you want to talk about? I'm just admiring um, everyone that right now that is coming out with, uh, let's say, a podcast, a show, a business, uh, or like what you're doing in, in, and you're helping people build uh, platforms, uh, websites, funnels, everything that's going on. I, th I think we need that. When the uh, mainstream media has obviously failed us. Yeah. Um, and and uh, this financial situation is obviously scary in the entire globe. Um, I think regular Joes, you know, like me, like everyone else, like yeah. need, to, need to come out and speak. And so um, DeFi has given me the uh, confidence. DeFi Mike has given me the confidence to come on. I've known him for a few years and I, I appreciate you. Um, I really think we need to step out and start to use our voices if you have one like that. If you feel compelled, if you don't, if you don't feel compelled, okay, I understand get the information you need, make, make uh, the decisions you need to make for yourselves and your family. But uh, it's time to kind of step out of our boxes and uh, let the world know that we're here. Bro, I love that. I, about it. I love the whiteboard here. So I'm going to kind of, and I love, you know, kind of taking what we're saying and giving people like a visual representation. And what AJ is saying is like, you have some sort of gift or voice. And the question is, is how can you monetize that? How can you share that? You know, Gary V talks about like jab, 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 right hook, giving value out for a long, long time. But I want to ask everybody listening and watching the replay is what channels, whoops, don't want that. What channels are you sharing that voice with, right? AJ is very influential. He won't talk about it, but he's very influential on things like Twitter or X, right? You know, you have Instagram, you have Facebook, but if you're on here in the chat, let us know which platforms are you committed to building on, right? Is it right. Instagram? You know, is it Facebook? Like there's so many different platforms. It's tough to use all of them. You know, it's kind of why I'm doing the show, bro. It kind of holds me accountable and I have more, more, uh, more reach on YouTube. And there's people on, like YouTube videos literally will last forever. And that's that evergreen content. 
Um, so using your gift of your voice and sharing it on these different platforms, AJ kind of mentioned, you know, uh, like having like a newsletter, like th those are all different things. Like, are you collecting emails and texts from your clients and your business? So there's different ways. Uh, Marissa asked the question, AJ, how do you, how do you learn to use AI for our business? That's a great question. I mean, yeah. I'm still learning. I mean, um, uh, I just use chat GBT and I use now grok on Twitter. I'm kind of a Twitter guy. So I I've been leaning on that, but um, there's definitely programs out there that you could use to, to uh, basically speed things up to make things more efficient and effective for your business. So uh, I'm definitely looking into that as we speak and uh, seeing how, how we could utilize that. Mike, uh, I would need your help on that too. <laughs> yeah. I've been using it like this and I'll actually just pull up chat GBT. And just to give like ideas, so it's like, for example, let's open up ChatGPT here and let's just ask, um, give me 10 video ideas for crypto. And it should give me 10 video ideas for crypto. So now I can just take the topics and then I can go record the content. So we won't talk about taxes, but you know, the day in the life of a crypto trader. I mean, that could be like a funny video that we make um, deep dive into NFT. So this is, I would use it from a standpoint of getting ideas, especially for like creating content. Um, you could also use it like, um, write, now this is crazy, write me. I think you could write code with this, right? Write me co <clears throat> code for my website. Let's see if this does it. Yeah, you have to give it more information. Uh, Google Chrome plugin. <laughs> this thing, I mean, it's literally creating a code for a Google for a Google Chrome extension. So everybody's in a different type of business. But if you're not using this to at least get ideas in this current market, I think you're. I think it's going to hold you back. So AJ, talk to me about when you were at Tesla, like if you had to say three things that separated Tesla compared to every, every other company maybe that you've worked for or job that you've had, like what were some of those things that Tesla had? Like was it culture? Is it communication? What were those things? Um, well, for me, uh, what I noticed right away is, is how flexible and how adjustable um, the company was. They will literally make a decision day one on something. And then a week later say, ah, we changed our mind. We're going to do it this way instead. That, that didn't work. It's, it's not being stuck on uh, one idea just because you're maybe yeah. um, too nervous to pivot to uh, don't want to look wrong. Ego has got to go out the door. So I guess with uh, under flexibility, we could definitely say ego is out the door when it comes to business because in business, you have to provide something, provide a service, provide like you're you're providing something. And if that isn't working out or if it isn't profitable at all, if it's just going to bleed you dry or you have to be able to yeah. pivot and, uh, on on a dime. So definitely wow. it got me very comfortable with not being comfortable because one day we're doing it this way. And the next day we get we get no we get an email from above, a.k.a. Elon and him saying we're not doing this anymore. Wow. Like, what? <laughs> we're killing it, man. No, it's going to end up killing us. Ah, okay. Wow. We'll do it this way. So I guess one thing I would say is flexibility. And of course, ego, that, that's got to go. And then um, B, if you're selling something like me was energy, solar, batteries, and, and you know, residential, commercial, um, you have to be, um, you have to simplify things. You have to simplify things to your client base, simplify things to your, uh, uh, to the people that are going to be purchasing things. You have to, literally simplify everything. Um, and, and you have to be willing to walk away from a sale because, you know, for me, yeah. te Tesla's products, they kind of speak for themselves. So if, if it, if it's not working out for the, for the, uh, for the potential customer, it, it's all, it's all good. It, like, you, you'll find another one. Like, don't be afraid. Yeah. yeah. Don't be afraid of a no, you know, don't be afraid of a no. So that, so that was a really big deal for me because in the beginning, you know, they, they tell us, oh, this is how you, uh, you know, respond to uh, objection A, objection B, objection C. And it's just like, you know, I want a customer that wants my stuff. And they're out there, 
you know, that needs this stuff or wants this stuff, whether it's for me, it was they want to go green or they're very excited and bullish about Tesla or uh, they want to save some money. I had people that bought solar from from Tesla, didn't even save anything. Like a lot of times people buy solar just to save and that's yep. not the reason why they want to go green. So you never know the person's reason why they want to be involved. I would say simplify your product, simplify your pitch. That would be the next thing. Simplify your pitch. 100% would do that. And um, I, I'm not one of those crazy hardcore salesperson, although I was number one. Uh, uh, what I did was more than selling the product. I sell the process because mm, the product wow. sold itself. So the process of the sale, because, you know, some sales take more. A lot of people are not just, you know, going to buy a, going to buy a CD or <laughs> I'm old, uh, going buy a car or going by, you know, like a lot of people are. Um, it's a process to get something like solar on your roof. You got to get permits. You got to get this. You got to get that. So it takes like a month, two months sometimes. So when I when when I see that it's good for them financially, and when I see that they're interested, I immediately go to the process of the sale. Not not the process of the sale. The process of getting the product in their hand, in their yeah. hands, on the roof or whatever. I was like, okay, here's the seven steps to getting solar on your roof. We are here. You will sign this piece of paper, yeah. which enables me to go get the permits. And then when I get the permits, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to call you. So this is where you're building trust because you, and then you better put it in your calendar that you're going to call this person. If not, you lose their trust immediately. Yeah. So I put them on the journey and let them see the, the process day one on what it's going to look like, feel like whatever when solar is on their roof. So that's what I would do. I would definitely sell the process of them getting it. And then they also, it eliminates the awkwardness of signing of, say, of yeah. them saying yes, there's no more awkwardness because their brain is a month ahead. Now their brain is like, I'm ready to go through this process. Cause this man just took me through it verbally. And as long now there might be hiccups, communication you have to communicate well if you're not going to communicate well you cannot be a good business person a salesperson or any type of person so those are the couple of things because i actually held sales training and they're wondering like how the heck did you sell this amount of jobs in this amount of time you know and i, I and i showed them they're like oh can you train us can you tell show i started training the entire office and i just i just and take them on the journey take the people on the journey because guess what? If you're already in their house at their business on the call with them, they're already interested. Don't yeah. oversell. Never oversell. I guess I can oh. give you five points, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. No, I think, bro, that's dude. fine. I mean, let us know in the chat if you guys are in sales or if you sell something. Um, what AJ just said can work in any industry. And I think the biggest thing, bro, that I did really bad in the beginning in sales 10, 11 years ago is I was attached to the outcome that people gave me and I was afraid to walk away that I couldn't find another sale. And uh, that's high professional fact right there that AJ just gave you guys be able to walk away if they say no, because sometimes they say no and it's just what, not right now, or they give you a referral uh, because you handled the rejection well. Like I'm, a, I'm an easy buy. Like you probably are as well, right? Like if I walk into a store and somebody's like, can I give me $10 for this, you know, for this chocolate box? Like I'm going to do it, even if I'm not going to eat the chocolate, right? I'm, I'm just going to give the money. And in like when you're actually in your field selling something, you have to be able to walk away uh, and not be, not let it affect the next sale, not let it affect the next conversation. So that that's a fact, bro. Uh, put some ones in the chat, simplifying everything. Guys, we're live on the circle. We got my boy AJ here. This show is every Thursday, 5 p.m. Eastern. We bring special guests uh, from really all around the world. We're talking things that are happening in the world from Super Bowl today. Bitcoin's at 50K. UK economy's in a recession. And now we're going into like some some nitty gritty stuff here. Uh, as we wrap this up, AJ, like what, what would be your biggest, what would be your biggest tip for social media? Because mm -hmm. I've seen like, you know, when we met, you really weren't doing anything on social media too much, bro. And I, I got on you. Um, what flipped the switch though? Because now, now you're everywhere. Now you're all over Twitter. I see you on IG now. I see you making videos. I see you driving the Tesla all around California doing events. What was like? Oh shit! I need to like really do this. Well, I, I, I think starting off when I started off on social media, I started off on one platform. I hit that hard, which was Twitter. And you know, because you were you you, were, yeah. you took part with me, um, 
and 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 I understand. Let's say why I did that, and I understand why people do that because they want to get comfortable and good with one thing. And I and I get and I get that, and I did that. So, but then there'll be a time where you, you will feel very plateaued, and that's and that's how I was last year. And that's why I, I I told myself when I reached out to you and you gave me solid advice. And yeah, it's time. It's time. Uh, first off, I was doing audio only, uh, Twitter Spaces, which is audio only, which was my yep, comfort yep. zone. Uh, I get to keep my uh, face away from the camera, which makes life easier. Um, but then um, I realized that it was time to go video. And so I started my Instagram. It's still not very big, but it's very um, got very interesting people following me. And I got very, uh, very organic little growth that I've had. And I just started to document things, started to record things, started to not be scared to do so. So you have to start reaching out to other platforms. I really mm -hmm. haven't touched Facebook, Facebook yet. I really need to get into that. But um, YouTube, I'm here. Thank you for, you know, you know, when you said you want to get on YouTube, I'm like, you know what, it's time to break, break the ice there because Twitter I've been rolling on, man, Twitter, uh, yeah. Instagram now this past year I've been rolling on and, and video content. So you, you do have to kind of diversify in the social media world to reach different crowds. Cause there's some people are not on Twitter. Some people are yeah. not on this platform or that exactly. platform, but they're here. So you have to do it and you kind of, kind of break out of your shell. I love it. Well, bro, we appreciate you coming on here. We're going to definitely do some more calls uh, like this here in the future. Guys, put some sevens in the chat for AJ. We're going to wrap this up. My brother, I appreciate you. I'm going to call you later. Hit me up. See you guys. Hi, brother. See you later. Guys, have a great rest of your day. We're going to wrap up episode two. Make sure you guys like, hit the subscribe button down there. We're live every single Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 2 p.m. Pacific. And we're just having some fun, having a conversation. Hopefully you learn something. Hopefully you come back next week and uh, spread the word. Let people know that we are live. We are going to be consistently on this platform. And uh, if you're not in my Instagram channel, I will put the link in the chat as we wrap this up. Guys, have a great rest of your day.